Hello everyone, this is Prashant, CTO and co-founder of AntStack. Today we are going to dig into Graviton2 Lambda functions, which is announced by AWS today, and which is based on ARM64 architecture. So far we only had one choice in this, uh, which is x86, which was the default choice, but today onwards we are going to have this new choice in terms of um, architecture when we are creating a Lambda function. So let's go ahead and uh, see how we can choose this uh, while creating Lambda function in AWS console. So I'm going to go to create new function. And as you see here, uh, there is a choice of architecture between x86 and ARM64. So while creating a Lambda function, we can choose this. I'm assuming all the tool chains, whichever it is, uh, CDK, SAM, CloudFormation should have this as well when, uh, when you are creating a Lambda function. Uh, today I'm going to, what I'm going to do is uh, I have this simple Lambda function here called create message, uh, which is using AWS SDK to generate uh, UUIDs and inserting that into uh, DynamoDB using uh, AWS SDK. And we are going to change this uh, configuration between ARM64 and x86 and run Lambda Power Tuner on this and see how this Lambda function performs across different configurations and compare the results between two architectures. So let's do that. I have already installed uh, Lambda Power Tuner uh, on this uh, account so that we can carry out that uh, quickly. Let me change this to x86 first and uh, run the Power Tuner. So let's just confirm which architecture it is selected. It is x86. So I'm going to copy this ERN of the Lambda function and go into my, my Power Tuner UI. Uh, Power Tuner UI is one of the easiest way to run uh, Lambda tuning. Uh, in case if you are wondering how to get this up and running in your own stack, uh, please watch my previous video on how to uh, install Power Tuner UI and use it to perform uh, Power Tuning. Here, uh, I'm just going to select speed, uh, paste my ARN and start power tuning. And this is for x86 at this point. So what power tuner is going to do is uh, configure our Lambda function in a lot of these different configurations uh, going all the way from 128 MB to 3008 MB. If you want to try different configurations, you can always change that uh, with custom values uh, or you can also choose all possible values. Here we have the results uh, for x86 and uh, we see that uh, the response time is getting better as we increase uh, the memory of the Lambda function. So we'll keep this aside. Let's open new browser window on of this report and keep it here and go back to our Lambda function and switch this to ARM64. Um, Let's edit this here and switch to ARM64. Um, save this let's just reconfirm it is switched to arm 64 yes it is now without changing anything uh, since it's the same lambda function we are going to learn uh, rerun the power tuner and see what results we are going to get once we get the results we are going to compare uh, it to the x86 results and see where this lambda function stands so let me open this up in another browser window and take this result URL and let's compare the two. I'm going to call this um, x86. Okay. As you can see, the performance for this particular workload is pretty neck to neck. I mean, they, they are performing pretty much similarly. And this may vary depending on your workload. Uh, in some cases, you know, ARM64 may perform better. In some cases, x86 may perform better. Uh, but one thing here uh, to note is uh, AWS has said that Graviton2 is going to be priced cheaper compared to novel uh, x86 uh, offering. So uh, this opens up one more opportunity for us to optimize our Lambda functions for cost, especially if our workload is going to get us the same amount of performance uh, between the two choices, uh, we might choose Graviton2 to, to save more costs. Uh, with that, I will end today's uh, episode. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. Thank you.